Hi there. So this is our little video for the um, the Narcos theme. So I just want to slowly take you through the the actual um, proper arrangement in the kind of more Spanish guitar kind of style, um, which is more like playing the melody with a little bit of the chords as well. Um, it takes a little bit getting used to this kind of stuff, you know, so we're just going to do it in small little pieces, right? Just little pieces at a time and we just get used to it that way. And then also we're going to learn how to play the the Narcos theme on the high strings. So you're going to be really, even on your acoustic guitar, I think we can find them up here, you know, we're going to go right to the top like that. Like find that melody up there as well. But to begin with, we've got this finger style, what they call finger style or or kind of melody and chord version down here. So the A minor chord, you gotta look at the chart there for the A minor. First finger, second string, second finger, fourth string, third finger, third string. I'm not gonna to spend too much time um, pointing out basic chords like that because you do have the chord chart in your box there. That you can you can go back to that and find a lot of these um a lot of these basic chords as well. So A minor, yeah. So we're strumming five four three two with our thumb maybe just like that five four three two then we hit the first string and that's kind of our mer first melody note that first string then it's fourth fret second string third fret second string first fret second string open second string and then second fret third string so Pretty great right but yeah so we got that first part then we just got this little cluster of notes okay which is just that second finger on the third string first finger on the fifth string and third finger on the fourth string okay and we play them together so we come out of that melody And then pick those three notes together and then we hit second fret so fifth string fourth string and then we change to the third string in the first fret I've got this I, I tabbed this out a bit larger than the tab you gave me as well I'm gonna send through a photo of that so you know this is just a guide for you to see what I'm how I'm using my fingers and how the whole thing kind of shapes up and then you can have a look at the tab as well but i'd really like you to, to have a go at this okay um so if there's some parts of it you really don't understand you have to get back to me and i can i can make another little video for you just keeping keep making small videos for you to get it happening okay all right so mm -hmm. again from the beginning a minor <laughs> Out of that little cluster of notes that played together then you play fifth string fourth string first finger onto the third string first fret and then low sixth string then we got another little chord which is third string and first string in the first fret strum those three notes so it's third string first string and second string is open and we just strum those three then open first string 
third fret, second string, first fret, second string. Open fifth string. under there I think that's right with the tab yeah you can see it on the tab but that part's pretty easy because it's just coming out of that little chord and it's just single notes first string third fret first fret open don't think it goes straight to the fifth string and then plays the A minor chord. So that little trick there on the second string, just hammer on off. On the tab there's a little like bridge in between the two notes and that means that you're gonna hammer it on and then pull it off. Okay. Okay, and um, you know, maybe even next week we could do a Zoom lesson as well, so you can show me how you're going with this and I can help you um, put it together um, face to face through Zoom as well, right? But I think this is a good start. And the other thing was the first tab I had for you was playing the melody on the second string, so you were coming from the. Also, that, the, the finger style piece we're playing is in a different key, okay? So they're not going to sound, they're going to sound different. When I play the melody, it's going to sound different to when I'm playing the melody with the chords because don't worry too much about that. It's just a, it's just a key change thing because that all that should be played on the fourth fret with a capo. Yeah, but we're just going to, we're just going to play the melody in the original key though. And that's what I gave you on that first tab last week was that um, in C sharp minor, we had this. Something like that, right? Now we're going to take that all the way up, jump an octave. Okay, so what the way I've tabbed it out on the on the um, the tab is that we're up around the 14th, 15th, 16th fret up around here. That's our C sharp up there on the 14th fret, second string. Sounds a bit more like that, and then. We're just hammering onto that note there, there. Okay, so you can see that on the tab. Just have a go at that, persevere with that, try to find those frets high up on the guitar. You should be able to do it, it shouldn't be that bad. And that's, I think, the sound that you're really looking for. You want that, because that's what's on the, uh, on the track, on the program, is that high guitar playing that. So it'd be good to mess around with that. That'd be fun, right, if you can get that happening. Um, so try that. And I will be sending another video just to recap on chords and maybe give you another scale to practice as well. Um, because I didn't see you face to face this week, I should definitely get you at least two videos this week. Um, so another one will be coming and a tab as well. Okay, take care. See you soon.